Do the movies play well at 50 percent? Absolutely. Let's look. Okay. Window, DVD player. Oops. Okay. Okay. It's exactly how I had her. Now, when she first started the first session, I didn't do it like this because it was dark quite a bit. Okay. Now, again, we're running random noise right now. Okay. What I did is I took this minimum brightness and I put it about there. Okay. Now on my screen it looks a little different than it does on the projector with cult, with the matter of lumens and all that stuff. But you get it to play? huh? Why don't you click, why don't you click the play? DVD and then play. But if you don't have a DVD in there, it's not going to work. So don't bother. Okay. Now. Yes. Okay. And the good thing with all of these, or with the DVD players, let them use their favorite movie as long as you review it and make sure it's appropriate don't let them bring in Saw 4 but um, all of the animated Disney movies and everything what you're gonna find is if you're you've and most of you have probably figured this out no matter how good the game is a neurofeedback game two weeks later they're sick of it okay so you just spent three hundred ninety five dollars and now they don't want to play it anymore versus if they bring in their favorite movie it can change every week. They can bring the same one. My son will watch Cars over and over and over. He'll watch Bob the Builder 5,000 times, okay? And she'll watch this. I mean, she's older, but for some reason she really likes this particular DVD. Don't ask me why. Okay? So I just have seen to get better results with the DVDs than the games. They tried all the games, inner tube, particle editor, everything. I didn't get more than 15 minutes out of them. Can I watch something else? I don't like this game, you know? So, what does the movie do? Fade in and fade out? Fades in, fades out based on are they meeting criteria. And you can do the auditory. Now, the way I do it is I don't mess with the auditory from the DVD. I let it the soundtrack play as normal. However, in the background, I have the reward tone giving that simple tone, and I go into the Windows properties on the sound, and I'll lower it so it's not overbearing. So they can hear the movie. If they're watching Shrek, they can hear the dialogue. It's not being interrupted, but they get this little ding, ding, ding in the background. So they're still getting the auditory effect of the neural feedback. They're getting the visual fading and fading out, and they're engaged because they're watching something they want to. I don't know if there's anything that direction. I know there was some some um, research done comparing auditory to visual, and I guess it's like no comparison that auditory is much more powerful than visual. Mm. Like Alpha Theta, there's no visual. Right. Mm -hmm. So, the, like a lot of people make the mistake and go, "Oh, I don't get any effects from DVDs," and I'll talk to them on the phone as a tech support, and I'll say, "Well, exactly, how are you doing the sound?" Well, I have my reward sounds turned off. I'm just using the fade in, fade out. I mean, you'll get some benefit probably, but having that additional small tone in the background or at least modulating the soundtrack, I think it's a must. I think you have to do it. Yeah. Are you using the DVD player in your laptop or in a, in a separate DVD player? Uh, this is in my laptop. can do it either way, though. People will do it with an external DVD player, too. Yeah. 